Hey everyone, how you doing today? We have brought back Anna Kelly for topic number three. How are you? I'm great today, Michael. This is one that I just I just wanted to talk to you about. It's something you and I have done successfully now, but more importantly, we didn't for many years. And that is the idea that we must have multiple streams of income. I think I see articles all the time that the rich have eight, nine, 10, 12 streams of income. I think that's marketing to sell you stuff, which just is icky, like secrets of the rich. So I thought I'd talk to you about multiple streams of income, what you think about that and, and what people should focus on. Yeah, such a great topic, Michael. So, you know, you do, you read articles that talk about how the wealthy stay wealthy and they're not depending on one source of income, right? And so there's wisdom in that. Um, but if we're not careful, we can try to create too many businesses and never give enough focus to one to really get it off the ground. And we get this shiny object syndrome, right? So I coach students and so do you. And we see people that are like, well, I don't know. I kind of like to do single family and I kind of like to do multifamily and I'd kind of like to do, you know, short-term rentals. And I, I'm looking for all of it. And you're like, but the reason you're not getting further is because you're not focused enough on one thing first before you start to add the other things. And so we have to be real careful to balance focus with the desire and the wisdom to diversify a little bit so that we've got multiple ways that money are coming in. So that if one industry goes down, you're not, you know, you don't lose everything. Yeah. I mean, I know people in my network that, um, you know, they, they were in the real estate business. That was kind of their thing. And then sometimes they get shiny objects. Like I'm going to go do an Amazon store or a Walmart, a Walmart store, or I'm going to go open a gym or I'm going to create a sunglass line or, you know, these, all these other things. I'm like, no, oh, it's not time yet. You know, you, you have some success double down there, right? Because everybody I know that's, that's really made it, I mean, made it through multiple cycles. I'm not talking about the one hit wonder that got lucky. I'm talking about the people that have been doing this 10, 20, 30 years. They focused on one source of income, built that up to an impressive amount and then diversified, yeah. right? And, and I don't think there's, I mean, yes, the rich have multiple streams of income, but trust me, there was a dominant income stream forever, and then they diversified. And I think that's the same for, for you and I. I mean, right, we may have five, six, 10 multi income streams now, but you know, until I left my W-2, I had, I had two. I had a W-2 and I had rental income. That was it. Right, right. So important, yeah. And, and you, you have to, to get really good at something and to grow wealth through that and income through that, you've got to really master it, right? And so um, you, it, it takes years, as we've talked about in, in, in an earlier video. It's not the easy button. Most people do not become wealthy overnight. It takes years of mastering what you do to get really good at it so that um, your decisions are really fast and you're buying the right things and you're not being drawn away by the things that you don't you shouldn't do and it's not until that's pretty systematized and and on enough autopilot that you're not having to work in your business all the time and you can work on your business that you even have the time to start thinking about other ventures right and so unless you're just a consummate entrepreneur who you don't really value the financial freedom you value um, building something big and starting over. For most of us, we start out in real estate because we want financial freedom, right? So we yeah. need to focus and keep the main thing, the main thing. And if we are going to add multiple income streams, we should do it incrementally. So for, for you know purposes of the discussion about real estate, I started out doing small multi-units and a couple of flips, right? And the flips were really the means to fund more down payments so that I could buy more small multi-units. Well, I didn't start buying any vacation rentals until after I had already completely built financial freedom through the small multi-units. Yep. Now that I have all of my needs met and I've created that financial freedom, it's an incremental change for me to learn a new market and the Airbnb world. When I've already done the real estate stuff, it's not that big of a jump. It doesn't take that much of my time and it doesn't take a significant amount of time off and focus off of the other stuff that I'm already doing. So don't be in a, in a rush to add other multiple income streams. Make sure you don't get shiny object syndrome and be all over the place and start with just an incrementally different um, income stream that supports and supplements what you're already doing and you'll be much more successful doing it. Yeah. Again, I want, you to, I want people to hear this. Multiple income streams is a good idea. What I, what I 
and nervous about is it's just the latest hot topic that people are going to go try to do seven things at once, right? Right. If you want to go run an Amazon business or drop ship or whatever you want, go do that. But focus, right? Do the extras, build, build the page, build the, build the Instagram or whatever it is, right? I don't know what that world is, but go yeah. do that. Don't do that as a side thing that's kind of just over here while you do something else. You're, 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 you're wasting time. And more importantly, it probably takes 20, 30, 50 grand to buy that store. Yeah. You know, like you say, keep the main thing, the main thing until you get to a point that that's out there. I, I, you know, it's, um, I, I just think that sometimes, sometimes the guru world lucks into a topic that people just latch onto, right? Yeah. Multiple streams of income. Oh, let's go hit that thing. Secrets of the rich. Oh, let's go hit that. Yeah. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's for sure. Yeah. And I think another thing that you've got to really um, always keep at the forefront, two things that I've learned, right? One is that you really have to know why you think you need to buy another business or start another business or start another income stream. If you're doing it just to create more money, um, but it's not something that you're passionate about and that drives you and that you can have sustainable and really enjoy, and that's going to actually um, be worth the time commitment that you're putting into it, then you shouldn't go do it just because an opportunity drops in, in your lap, right? You've got to really get to know who, who am I? What do I want to become? How much time am I willing to sacrifice in order to start this other you know, stream of income? And is it going to be worth um, all that it's going to take to do it? And then will I still have the time and energy to do what else I'm doing, right? Because every new thing has an opportunity cost of taking away your time and your money from doing something else that you're already really good at. And one of my mentors actually said to me something to the effect of, um, don't go start this other business that you've been dreaming about and wanting to do yet. It's not time yet. That was about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And he said, you've got to make sure you're not jumping over dollars to get pennies, right? Yes. And, and that was so wise. And at the time I'm like, yeah, yeah, I kind of get it. Right. But it was really, really profound because sometimes we're making all this money. We're making big dollars on what we're doing in real estate. And we see something over here that can make us pennies. And we think, well, eventually we can make a bunch of big dollars, but are we going to, are we going to jump over some of the opportunities and miss out on opportunities where we know we can make big dollars just because, oh, we can make a little more if we add this to what we're doing. So you've got to think, what's the opportunity cost? Am I really passionate about it? Do I want to be in it for the long term? And if not, don't go chase it just because you see some shiny pennies on the ground, right? Yeah, totally agree. Oh, I love these conversations today. All three episodes were, were a lot of fun to talk about. So Anna, I appreciate your week. Any closing thoughts on, on the week? Oh, just, um, you know, keep keep doing it, you know, keep going. Don't, don't give up on, on your dreams of financial freedom. Don't give up when real estate's hard, you know, keep, keep the main thing, the main thing you're looking to create financial freedom, um, play the long game, keep learning, learn from the wealthy, learn from people that are one or two steps ahead of you and, and just don't go it alone and be on an Island. And, and you won't make all the mistakes that we've learned through, through wisdom and a lot of our own mistakes. With that folks, we will call it an end. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much.